Hello everyone, I'm Cole Philpot and welcome back. I'm a member of quite a few fish forums and off, very often on that forum I'll see this question. It is how did I get them? Are they harmful and what should I do about them? I am talking about pest snails. I personally am a huge lover of pest snails and in this video I'm going to tell you why. You're watching the fish pool. Alright guys, first I would like to take the time to apologize to One Fish, Two Fish, ROC. Last video she won the um, question of the week. She answered it right, so I definitely gave her a shout out, but I said congratulations to him. And she is a girl of course, so I'm very sorry to her. And congratulations. Also, last video, a boy named Drew got the question right, so definitely congratulations to him. Alright guys, quick question before we start the video. What do you call a crayfish with a messy room? If you know the answer to this question, definitely leave it down in the comments below. Stay tuned to the end of the video to, fig to find out the answer. Alright, but enough of this, let's get right into the video. Personally, I am a huge lover of snails. I even have this whole 29 gallon pretty much devoted to snails. As you can see, there are a ton of snails in here. And I think that is just amazing. Just a ton. I personally breed these snails for a couple of reasons. One, I try to have them in all my tanks, just because they are amazing cleaners. As you can see, I'm running a pretty solid amount of light in here, and yet there's no algae. The snails will mow down any sort of algae that you have, except for like the harder green spot algae, or maybe hair algae. But any of the easy algae, these guys will definitely mow them down. In this tank, I have ram's horn snails, in the corner, some Malaysian trumpet snails, and somewhere, somewhere around here. There should be pond snails somewhere in here also. My favorite are the ram's horn snails, just because they come in like designer colors. Like this one is a pinkish color, while wow. this one back here is more of a blue color. And what I like about these blue guys is off eBay and stuff, you can sell them for pretty much a dollar a piece. So if you want to do that, they can definitely be in your fish for, fish for profit if you are interested in that. So yeah, they definitely come in a lot of colors, and I just like the shape of them. So these are my favorite, but they are also probably the, the least best at cleaning, if that makes any sort of sense. They're still good, but ponds, snails are definitely probably better, and not only that, but the Malaysian trumpet snails will bury down into the substrate. And if you have a planting tank, that is very beneficial because that will get all the nutrients and all the oxygen and stuff down to the plant roots. So that's very beneficial in all sort of, in every tank pretty much. So I definitely love these snails. Not only that, but they make amazing food. I, as you know, I do have a puffer fish and I constantly am feeding these guys to him. I have a pea puffer, so technically they don't need the shell to break down their teeth. But it definitely encourages their hunting instincts and brings out the better life in them. Also, because they are a harder shell, they have a lot of calcium. This is great for Jeff, so I definitely will feed him a lot of these. I'm going to show you this just to show you how he eats them. Alright, so as you can see, I just have a small handful of these Malaysian trumpet snails. And... Oh, and there's a little ram's horn snail right there. But I'm just going to feed them to him, and I'll show you what happens. Alright guys, I just dumped them in, and as you can see, Jeff is already going nuts. Usually we'll try to just fish out the little innards of the snail, but he will take chunks out of the shell, which will really be beneficial, because he needs a shell growth too, and that will benefit him with all the calcium. Alright guys, but as I said before, these ramshorn snails, and all snails in general, just because they breed so fast and so readily, they make amazing little um, breeding for profit snails. Just because they breed so fast, you can just sell one of these guys for maybe, I don't know, 50 cents on eBay, sell them on your local club, 
sell them on fish forums, sell them everywhere. It just make you a little bit of money and further the hobby. So that's another great reason why to, to have them. So in my opinion, I think snails are beneficial. So I definitely don't think you need to get rid of them. But if you really want to, you have a couple of options. One, you could drop in some lettuce or zucchini or cucumber at night on a fork or something. And in the morning, take it out. And there will be quite a few snails on there. Also, you could purchase the Sarah Snail Trap. This does an amazing job of wiping out your snails. But they won't get them all. So, if you want that, it's kind of like a temporary solution. Just because without killing them, you won't be able to completely eradicate it. Because at least pond snails... Because pond snails uh, can breed asexually, that means they don't need a partner. They can do it by themselves. Want you already? If you already have one, you definitely have more. So you're almost never going to be able to fully eradicate them unless you have something to eat them. But I think just don't get rid of them. They do an amazing job, so definitely keep them. All right, but to answer the question of how you got them, most of the time they come on plant leaves. So if you recently just ordered plants or got decor from one of your friends or used anything that was previously an aquarium there could have been some snail eggs that transferred over and these things are pretty robust so they will pretty much always ha hatch and then you have snails and then they breed and then you have more snails so it's kind of a continuous cycle and I choose just not to fight the battle also they're just pretty interesting just like look at them like they have those little antennas that are just always moving around. I just think they're weird and they're just interesting. So I like to keep them around. Alright guys, let's wrap this up. So in conclusion, I think snails are beneficial. Most of the time you're going to get them from a plant that you ordered or decor or something that was previously in a tank. There will be snails, there will be snail eggs, excuse me, on the plant or whatever you bought in. And those can hatch in your tank. And once you have more, once you have one, you're always going to have more. So I choose not to fight that battle because I love snails. They will continuously always be eating algae. And not only that, but the Malaysian trumpet snails, these little cone-shaped ones, will dig down in the substrate to disturb it and then bring nutrients to plant roots. So those are very beneficial. Also, the ram's horn snails look very good. Like that one's like a really nice red. And then also the blue ones where's a blue one there are some blue ones that make great breeding for profit because you can almost sell them for a dollar a piece on eBay so yeah I just love them they look good they're just weird so I think they're interesting and they make they bring life to the tank I believe so I say keep them around but if you really want to you could buy the Sarah snail trap but that won't completely eradicate the problem or you could drop some food in there like zucchini or lettuce and pull it out every day that also won't completely eradicate it but that will really dwindle down your numbers or you could buy a predator like a pea puffer another kind of puffer some loaches will eat it and there are a couple of other things that will eat it as well so if you really don't want them those are your options but I just think they're really cool and I definitely recommend having them Alright guys, early in the video I asked, what do you call a crayfish with a messy room? Remember, if you knew the answer, definitely leave it down in the comments below. And the answer is, a slobster. <laughs> Alright, remember to leave it down in the comments. I just thought that was funny. Alright guys, Jeff and I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, remember to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, I appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I hope everyone has an amazing day. You've been watching The Fish Bowl.